sure you've heard about cottage laws where you can sell baked goods and like low foodborne illness risky foods from home kitchens. But have you heard about Nikos? Now I might not be pronouncing that correct. But MECO stands for Micro Enterprise Home Kitchen Operation, quite the acronym. And this groundbreaking legislation was first passed in California in 2019, and since then it's also been instituted in Utah. Now, to dial down all the legalese and legislation and stuff that I've read through for you, you're welcome. Basically, what's happening? is that now in these places, you can apply for a health permit for your home kitchen, just like a commercial kitchen. Now there are different regulations on home kitchens than there are for commercial kitchens, of course. For instance, the amount of food and gross sales you're allowed to make are actually pretty low, but this is really opening the door for a whole new way of personal chefing. And what this legislation actually lets you do is cook in your home instead of a client's home and deliver them. Or you could run a restaurant out of your home or a supper club or pop-up dinners or whatever else you can think of. Now, again, the restrictions that I looked at are actually pretty low. I mean, as far as food, I really only saw them restricting um, raw oysters raw milk, using CBD, and things like that. But um, they're limiting to 60 meals a week and under $50,000 of revenue a year. Now, full-time personal chefs are making more than this, so this is an interesting consideration that they're probably gonna need to look at in the future. Because if someone is running a Miko restaurant selling plates for like 10 bucks, they'd max out at $60 a week for that income cap. Now, a personal chef would be doing 20 plates in one day, but would be making, even the national average, $335. So that would max you out at only being able to work three days a week to fall under that limit. Now, if you're charging $500 a service, you'd only be able to work two days a week under these limits. So, that's kind of interesting to consider, and I'm really curious to know what the United States Personal Chef Association is thinking about that and if they're involved in championing that legislation. So if anybody knows, drop a comment, because I'm super curious about that, if you heard. Um, they certainly would, I would think. So when you consider that it only took six years to go from the first state passing a cottage law, way to go Wyoming, to the time the final 50th last state passed it, New Jersey, kind of surprising for the Garden State to be late to that party, but imagine how fast it might be for the concept of legal home restaurant kitchens to spread. So for more information, if you want to look into this, I have dropped the links below to some articles and to um, the group that's really championed this movement in California. And definitely check with your own state representatives and see where are they in the process, especially if they were the ones who really championed the cottage laws. Because I'm telling you, the clients are out there and they are hungry for what you're cooking. So let's go, chefs.